R&B money. I was like the big, I still am for sure, but like I was the biggest Jamie Foxx fan in high school and college that the first ever celebrity that actually took me in in Hollywood was Jamie. Oh, that's him. Yeah. So I'll tell you the story. So many people have that story. Bro. So it was 2013 and he was filming Django mm. with Leonardo. And he was like, and I was at, we were at a Clippers Clippers private parties. This is my first time really in LA. I'm just young, just like, oh my God, I'm here. My show popped. It was a Golden Globe. We had just, Kelsey had just won a Golden Globe. So somebody taps me on my shoulder. So I'm like, you know, okay, cool, whatever. It's a dude with like this beard and look dirty. So I'm like, yo, who is this? And it's dark. So I'm like, who is this nigga just trying to touch me? He does it again. He's like, yo, man, I'm a fan of you, man. And he's literally in full everything because he's still in the middle of filming and he had a scully on oh, and his shades man. on. So I'm like, yo, this is, and he's dressed like different. It's not what I expected Jamie Foxx to look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he tells me, I'm like, hey man, I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? Like, thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. But he, he's tapping me. He's like, look, nigga. Turn around. He, I said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my God. <laughs> He was like, man, yo, me and, me and Leonardo, we stop everything and watch Boss, man, and you're super talented, bro. Like, what you doing out in L.A.? And at the time, I was there for Golden Globe, but I was still recording music. He said, like, you do music? I was like, yeah, man. He was like, yo, come. It was a playoff game. He was like, yo, come to my crib. Come to the Yeah, my family going to be there. My sister going to be there. You know, come pull up, man. Like, you know, just just, just vibe and kick, kick, kick it with us for the, uh, for the day. Went over, and it was just like... He's like, yo, let's go to the studio. Played my whole catalog. He was like, man, like you my little brother. And so every time, even if he wasn't there, like most of the time he wasn't there, I was just to stay at the crib. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like just for that to be my ushering into Hollywood, it yeah. was like, wow, like someone that you see yourself doing similar things and just admires like, oh, he's taking me under his wing. He, I remember like maybe four or five months later, I had a hosting at a some little club. It was my birthday. He got on stage and like, yo, in the next five to ten years, this man gonna be one of the biggest people in the world, man. And, and it was just like, wow. Now his footprint it's, on the entertainment business is iconic. It's, 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 it's unmatched. It's unmatched. Yeah, it's unmatched. It's unmatched, man. It's literally he's the guy that you meet and you're like, it ain't all fake. Yes. Yeah. Yes. When you meet Jamie Foxx. Yes. You realize that it's not all fake. You're like, you know what? You can go to the highest levels of this shit and still be a real one. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. The, the greatest. So you know for you to have that story, man, it's, it's, it's amazing to hear yeah. it. And, and it's amazing to hear it over and over Crazy. of different people yeah. that you... Like, like, I saw Ed Sheeran at his Crazy, house. Crazy, bro. I'm Crazy. like, who's the red-haired white nigga, bro? Crazy. Like, <laughs> Crazy. He liked it. <laughs> Valentine. Yeah, he's different. He cold. Yeah, yeah. 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 That nigga? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Ooh, yeah. R&B money.